Governor Martin O'Malley got quite an earful today soliciting opinions on how to improve the state's economic climate. His job creation symposium drew hundreds of people to the Miller Senate office building in Annapolis, and David Collins had a front row seat, and he joins us now live from the studio with more. Hey, David. Well, Deborah, the symposium offers some fresh ideas. According to O'Malley's top aides, suggestions and observations will be used to help craft the governor's jobs bill he'll push during the upcoming General Assembly session. Gabriel and Daniel make Maryland's future look bright. She runs a jewelry store and penned a book. And this book is about motivating and inspiring children to become entrepreneurs and to follow their dreams. Daniel runs a business reviewing books and movies. I do what I do because I don't like it when people waste their money on movies that will burn into your retinas, forever reminding you of the money you wasted during the recession. <laughs> so it's a hard job, but somebody has to review. Examples of Maryland in a state of innovation. But its potential to move forward is tied up in red tape, regulations and laws that have turned into barriers to economic growth. We are in the bottom five or six states for each of the following. Business cost, business taxes, personal taxes. How about this one? Urban interstate congestion, health insurance mandates. Governor Martin O'Malley brought business, education, and industry stakeholders together with a number of cabinet members to publicly discuss how to spur job creation in the state. The feedback will help determine what to include in the governor's jobs bill. 